Hello Chess Bodies. Thank you for visiting our channel. Chess Matters. This is your host, Kuya Freds. And in today's video I am going to show you the game between Daniel Naroditsky and Alex Landerman. This is in round 4 of the ongoing US Chess Championship 2021. The black pieces will be handled by Landerman and Daniel handles the white. Okay, let us proceed with the game. Daniel opens up with d4. Lenderman opens up with knight f6, knight f3, and d5. Queen's pawn game is on the board. e3, d5, knight d2, d takes d4, d takes d4, queen goes to c7, and bishop d3, knight goes to c6, and c3 to support the pawn. Bishop goes to g4, winning the knight. Queen goes to a4. Bishop back to d7. Intending a nasty discovery once the knight moves. So queen goes to c2. Rook goes to c8. Keep an eye to the queen in c2. a3 by Daniel. Bishop back to g4. Queen return to a4. And e6 by Lenderman. With the idea of removing his bishop. So that he can castle. Knight goes to e5, with a threat to the bishop. The knight of Lenderman cannot capture the knight of Daniel, since it is pinned by the queen. So, bishop goes to h5, knight goes to f1, with the possibility of moving to g3, to eliminate the bishop in h5. Bishop moved to d6, trying to eliminate the knight. And in here, Daniel just push his pawn to f4 support the knight. Bishop goes to g6, offering an exchange of bishop. And Daniel is not interested with bishop trade, so he declined, and moved his bishop to e2. Bishop goes to e4, intending to capture the pawn in g2. Knight e3, support the g2 pawn, and castling king side by Lenderman, to move the king to safety. Daniel also cancelled king side. Knight goes to d7, trying to exchange their knights. Queen goes to d1, f6 by Lenderman, pushing away the knight. So Daniel captured the knight in d7. Queen takes d7, and bishop goes to d3, offering an exchange of bishops. Bishop takes d3, queen takes d3, and f5. Bishop d2, knight e7, e3 by Daniel, rook move to d8, rook goes to d1, bishop goes to c7, bishop e1, with the idea of using his bishop to the king side, knight goes to g6, bishop g3, and bishop d6, as you can see, pawn in a3, being targeted by the bishop, but this pawn is poisonous, and, if bishop will take it, then this bishop will be trapped. So, Daniel is aware of that. That is why, he just decided to move his rook to f3, and support his pawn in f4, against any possible attack in the future. And also, to battery, his another rook to f1. Queen goes to c7, putting pressure to the f4 pawn. So, rook move to f1, h5 by Lenderman, and h3 by Daniel, give a breathing room for his bishop, h4, threatening the bishop, bishop goes to h2, and now, finally, bishop takes a3, but, this time, bishop cannot be trapped, b4 by Daniel, trying to lock the bishop, Rook goes to c8. The problem is solved. Knight d1. a5. He takes a5. Queen takes a5. Rook goes to e3. Rook f6. Rook e1. Rook c6. And king moved to h1 in order to avoid the black bishop. Bishop f8. e3 by Daniel. Lenderman captures. Rook takes g3. Knight e7, rook g1, 
Battery of Rooks. And Knight C8. Queen goes. Go F3. Knight goes to D6. Here comes the Queen to H5. Queen D8 anticipating any problem. Rook goes to G2. Queen E7. Protecting the King Pawn. Bishop goes to G3. With the threat of moving go H4 to harass the Rook and the Queen. So Queen moved to F7 offering a Queen trade. Offer declined. Queen goes to F3. Rook H6. To prevent Bishop H4. H4. And Bishop E7. Bishop moved to E1. To give way for his Rook to deliver a check. With the Queen as the only defender. So here comes Bishop as additional defense. Knight B2. In H5. Offering queen to queen. And Daniel declined. Knight goes to e4. Knight goes to d3. Rook c7. Additional defender. Knight e5. Bishop takes h4. Rook move to h2. Bishop takes e1. Queen takes h5. Rook takes h5. Rook takes h5. And here comes the knight to g3 with a check. Forking the rook. No rook eliminated this dangerous knight. Bishop takes g3. Knight goes to g6. And king goes to f7 with a threat to the knight. Knight e5 with a check. King f6. Rook g5 threatening the bishop. And also threatening to check in g6. Bishop takes f4. Rook goes to g6 with check. King e7. Rook takes pawn with a check. King move to d6. And here comes the knight to f7 with check. King goes to c6. Another check. Knight goes to d8. King goes to b5. And rook goes to g6. Threatening the pawn. The pawn move to e5. Pawn trades. Rook g5. And Daniel move his bishop to f6. Forking the rook and the knight. And now it seems that Daniel cannot capture the pawn as his rook and knight are under threat. But not really. And Daniel knows it. So he decided to eliminate the pawn. Bishop takes the knight. Rook takes d5 with a check. Retaking the bishop and d8. King goes to c4. And Daniel captured the bishop. King takes Daniel's last pawn. And now Lenderman has an extra pawn. The game continued with rook d5. Maybe Daniel is expecting a draw. Or to win on time. And here comes the rook removing white king anyway to get out of the h-file. Rook h5. King b4. Rook h4 with check. King goes to f5. And rook goes to h2. Here comes the pawn. Rook a2 with check. Daniel tried to use the clock to his advantage as his clock here is still at 44 minutes while Lenderman's time is at 14 minutes only he will try to beat Lenderman in clock as Daniel is a speed master King goes to b4 and another check from Daniel King move to c4 Rook c2 with check and finally Lenderman's king can assist his pawn to promotion so at this point Daniel resigned the game what a beautiful game Thank you guys for watching and hope you like the game till next time god bless everyone